In this video, I'm going to show you how to install No Machine on Ubuntu 24 and set it up for remote desktop access from a Windows PC. No Machine is a cross-platform remote desktop tool, which means you can use it to remote desktop between Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. First, we need to download No Machine. To do that, go to nomachine.com and click the download button. For Ubuntu, download the 64-bit Linux deb package. Now that the download is complete, let's install No Machine. Open your terminal and navigate to the directory where the .deb file was downloaded, and then install it using the dpkg-i command. Now that no machine is installed, let's open it for the first time. You'll find two shortcuts. No machine, which is the main user interface and the no machine service, which can also be accessed from the main interface. When you start no machine, it searches for computers on your local network running no machine. Here, it won't find anything. Before connecting to this machine from a remote computer, Let's go to the server settings and see how it's configured. The first tab, the server status tab, shows the IP address and port you'll need to access this desktop remotely. It also displays the current status of the server. Right now, the server is running and the desktop is in shared mode. In this tab, you also have options to start and stop the server, and this checkbox controls whether the server starts automatically after a reboot. The next setting, the port setting, is where you can change No Machine's port. The default is 4000, and we are not going to change it. The next tab is the security tab. This is where you configure most connection related settings. By default, it's set to allow connections, and we're not going to change anything. So now let's try to connect to this Ubuntu desktop from a remote computer. To do that, I'll be using a Windows 11 PC that already has No Machine installed. It won't detect the Ubuntu desktop automatically because the two computers are on different networks. So, what we need to do is click the Add button and add the Ubuntu server manually. In the Host field, you need to type the IP address or hostname of the Ubuntu machine. You can find this information on the Status tab of the remote machine. Now let's connect to the Ubuntu desktop. Here it gives us two login options. The first is to log in using a system username and password on the remote computer. This is for when you want to access your own computer remotely. The second option is for when you want to access someone else's PC for remote support. You won't need a username or password, but someone on the remote computer will need to accept your request. Now we have a connection to the Ubuntu desktop from the Windows 11 PC. If we go back to the Ubuntu machine in the status tab under all connected users, you'll see a list of connected guests. You'll also have the option to disconnect a guest. If you want to access your own computer remotely, use the first login option. Here, you'll use a system user account of the remote computer and you'll have a direct connection without needing someone to authorize it from the other end. And one more thing, with no machine you can copy and paste files between the local machine and the remote computer. Just drag and drop the files to the remote desktop. And that brings us to the end of this video on installing no machine on Ubuntu. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.